A new Wilmington police unit is hitting the streets, making sure everyone is following Governor Roy Cooper's order to stay at home. WWI's Matt Bennett followed one officer as he checked up on several businesses. So Matt, what happens if someone is actually caught breaking the rules? Donna, the department says the goal is about education rather than issuing citations. However, if businesses refuse to follow the rules, police will enforce them. As the coronavirus pandemic intensifies, Wilmington police want residents and businesses to know what they can and cannot do. We understand that this is a fluid situation. Uh, you know, something that's going on today could change again tomorrow. Under Governor Roy Cooper's stay-at-home order and additional restrictions from the county and city, the department has formed a community compliance unit made up of four officers and one supervisor. Right now, our, our job is going to be to try to take the pressure off of some of our patrol units so they can respond to whatever other calls they need to that may come in. Corporal Ron Evans spent the day visiting businesses like Target, making sure people were buying only essential supplies and following social distancing guidelines. We are not going to be going out violating folks' rights, okay? I cannot stop a car simply because they're out driving around. Evans also responded to some calls about restaurants allowing customers inside. Current restrictions only permit delivery, drive through and curbside food service. If someone is not in compliance, we're going to tell them what they need to do to, to get into compliance. Uh, and if they're reluctant to do so, then yes, we will take some type of law enforcement action to make sure it's dealt with accordingly. But again, that's not the, the first thing that we would like to do. If you have concerns about a business not following the restrictions, don't call 911. You can call Wilmington Police's non-emergency number. And if you have additional questions, the city has set up a question and answer portal on their website. We'll put a link to that and the non-emergency number on our website, wwaytv3.com.